In this video, we'll compare measures of weight. The two units that we'll focus on are kilogram and gram. We've looked at these before at entry two, so if you need to revisit these units and know what they look like, then by all means, go and check the entry two video first. Now, in order for us to compare these measures, I'd like to put them in order so that we know which one is bigger and which one is smaller. We've said when we measured before that there are a thousand grams in a kilogram. So a gram is much smaller and we measure in grams tiny amounts like salt or sugar. So, or um, maybe we've said also that two paracetamol tablets make one gram. So it's pretty much a small amount in comparison to a bag of sugar which weighs a kilogram normally. So I'll put grams first and then kilograms. And as we said, the K tells us that there are a thousand, just like we said, one K, this cost me one K, this cost me two K. That tells us that thousand grams. So this is the same as saying one, so replacing that K with a thousand and the G after, so 1000 grams. So a thousand grams make one kilogram. So we'll try and compare two different measures now. Let's say if I weigh something and it is 45 grams, is that bigger or smaller than one kilogram? Now we say we need a thousand grams to make a kilogram and this is much less than that. So that suggests that 45 grams is smaller than one kilogram. But if we weigh something and the unit is grams and let's say it weighs 1,520 grams, then that's definitely more than 1,000 grams. So that is more than one kilogram as well. 